Understanding how to read a swift message is a skill that every banker, trade finance professional and exporter should master. These messages are used globally for secure financial communication between banks. They follow a structured format defined by SWIFT or the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. A SWIFT message is categorized by a three-digit message type like MT103, Montana202, Montana760, and so on. The first digit identifies the category. For example, one is for customer payments and checks, while seven is for documentary credits and guarantees. Each SWIFT message has blocks. The most crucial ones are Block 1, the basic header, which contains the sender's BIC code and session information. Block 2, the application header, shows if the message is input or output and includes the receiver BIC. Block 3, the user header, is optional and used for internal routing. Block 4, the text block, is the heart of the message, containing the actual instructions using field tags like 20, 32A, 50K, 59. And finally, Block 5, the trailer, includes security details and checksums. All right, let's break down an MT-103, which is a single customer credit transfer. For example, we have 20 TRX 20250529. This is the transaction reference. Next, 32A250529 USD 10,000. Here we see the date, currency and amount. Then 50K slash 12345678900. This represents the ordering customer. And finally, 59 slash 0987654321. This is the beneficiary. So there you have it, a simple breakdown of an MT-103 message. Six unique insights to truly master swift messages. Every financial institution assigns internal risk rating to each BIC, influencing manual versus auto-processing of swift messages. In MT-103, Tag 52A appears only when the sender is using a correspondent bank, not in direct transfers. Tag 71A, SHA slash Ben slash Hour, can help detect who actually bore the transaction cost, a critical clue in reconciliation. Hidden currency conversion alerts may appear in 36 tag in MT202 carve, useful in FX mismatch tracking. When 50K includes a full address line, the system flags for AML scanning more intensively. Many banks embed UETR, unique end-to-end -end transaction reference, in Block 3 for tracking via gpi.swift.com. To practice reading Swift messages, visit https-www.2.swift.com and https-gpi.swift.com. These platforms offer insight into how live tracking and message structure work in real scenarios.